it going everyone? Bo here from BZ Hub and uh, I just got back from Florida. I don't know if you can tell by the... I didn't get much of a tan, but it was still a lot of fun and I really enjoyed it. But I hope you had a wonderful holiday season and with the new year uh, coming to, well, I guess the new year's coming to a start, but the year of 2021 is coming to an end. I thought it would be kind of nice to just wrap up what all happened in 2021 and give you a little inside details on everything happening on the BZ Hub side. First up, Gaming Month. Gaming Month was the, uh, well, was the first thing we did in uh, January of 2021, the first time we'd ever done that really. It all started because uh, I hate the month of January. I think it's the Monday of all months. You have an amazing time in December with Christmas and then the new year and then all of a sudden it's January and it's cold out and no one likes it so I figured if I just buy a bunch of games from uh, winter sales and then we just play a bunch of games and gaming month doesn't matter. Usually we play outdoor games and we do play outdoor games um, in, in January as well but we just kind of mix it up and play different games. I think it's a great time and if you haven't seen the 2021 gaming uh, uh, month and you should definitely check it out because there uh, there are some pretty hilarious moments. There's gone. Ah! Freaking me, cry! Get him! In the brain! In the brain! Headshot! We did it! We also created the 2021 intro video, which has been updated a little bit for 2022. But to this day, as you'll all probably agree with me, the music still slaps. We will be doing a gaming month for 2022, which I'm very much looking forward to, but more on that later. In 2021, uh, this is kind of unrelated to the channel, yet very much related. I got a new job with S3 Sovereign Sportsman Solutions as a creative producer. I create videos, social media posts, banners, emails, uh, all this sort of stuff. If you live in Missouri or Ohio and you get uh, emails saying that you need to renew your fishing or hunting license or maybe try something new, uh, there's a good chance came for me I, I I make all that sort of stuff so if you ever get annoyed by that stuff just say dang it Bo stop sending me these emails <laughs> but there's also a uh, possibility here in the near future I will need all of your help to start something brand new which I'm very excited about and I'm gonna be working with some great companies so uh, yeah look forward to more information on that in the near future but as always with new jobs that means a little less time to work on certain things and with the previous year of 2020 having COVID going on and you know I wasn't working as much as I was in previous years I had a lot more time to work on videos and that was a lot of fun and I really enjoyed watching the channel grow and just uh, people communicating and and that sort of things but obviously with new job time to work on that sort of stuff and balance family life and doing stuff outside it all just kind of you know declined so uh, I did the best I could with 2021 and 2022 will most likely be very similar but we're definitely gonna have new content coming out and I'm very much looking forward to it but one cool thing we didn't get with s3 was our Friday mornings off to go do something outdoorsy which has been fantastic it also started the s3 vlog series of my brother and I going out and doing something outdoorsy whether it be fishing or shooting or something like that it's really really quite fun now these videos started out on the BZ hub and over time they went over to the modern day outdoorsman channel but thanks to a recent survey it looks like they might be coming back to the BZ hub for you know a short time if anything but that brings us to the modern day outdoorsman in 2021 we started a new channel the modern day outdoorsman which was more of a focus of those people who you know might watch our outdoors videos and follow the channel of the BZ hub and then they start seeing a bunch of videos videos about video games and they're thinking I thought I followed an outdoor channel why am I getting all of these notifications for video games and live streams of video games I don't I don't get it I'm I'm I'm, I'm unsubscribing I don't want to follow this outdoor channel anymore obviously they don't do outdoor videos they do video games and so the modern day outdoorsman was an opportunity to only post outdoor videos fishing hunting shooting whatever it may be in the future and just post it on there that way they don't get notifications about video games and they stay subscribed we posted near weekly videos of us going out fishing camping oh, even our trip to Florida and all that sort of fun stuff it was a blast to do and uh, we have those memories forever captured in those videos which I can always be happy about however after we reached about 500 subs on the modern day outdoors when the subs just declined sharply and I'm not really sure what exactly happened but we were getting around 300 to 500 views per video and then it just dropped to like hundred to 200 views per video and uh, you know even starting from you know a channel with nearly 25,000 subscribers and then having a new channel with 500 subscribers it was just kind of strange that 
out of everyone on the BZ Hub, only 500 people had an interest in outdoorsy stuff. So I'm not really sure what happened there. I know that that's false because we have outdoor videos on the BZ Hub that have thousands of views. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not really sure. But I think in the near future, we'll be having more outdoor videos on the BZ Hub because, uh, you know, Honestly, it comes down to uh, the time spent on the videos, you know, uh, every single day, that it, whether it be a weekend or maybe I'm off work now, um, you know, I get to decide, am I going to spend it outside doing fishing or doing something in the outdoors? Am I going to spend it inside playing video games? Am I going to spend it inside spending uh, time on editing videos, which takes way more time than creating the videos itself? Or am I going to uh, end up spending time with my family or some you know, loved ones, you know, which is what truly matters. And so it's a way of balancing things. And if I'm spending an hour Hour, you know uh, or, or four hours fishing or an hour playing a video game and then it takes me double that to you know uh, edit a video and then it only gets a hundred views or something it's just it's just not worth it so we're gonna have to uh, bring it back to the BZ Hub or something in the future uh, just to just to keep things rolling I suppose but looking at new games in 2021 we uh, mostly stuck with the hunter call of the wild and fishing planet those were our two main games we started off the year with of course we had gaming month but then in September we added in Red Dead Redemption uh, 2 which was an older game at the time so it was kind of you know we expected to have lower views but a lot of people on the channel wanted to see us play that game so we did and although they uh, you know they got modest views uh, under a thousand most of the time um, it just the time going into playing the game and then the time editing it just became too much and so uh, didn't receive the amount of attention that we really needed to continue it but uh, you never know might continue it in the future but for now I think we're gonna we're gonna hold off and play other games we also started our first video playing farming simulator which I enjoy I think farming simulator is a game uh, that I've played a lot of in the past and I'm looking forward to spending more time playing it and the first video did receive um, quite a few views and I'm thinking usually the second video is a sign of whether people enjoy it or not so uh, yeah we'll, we'll just have to see we'll do two or three videos and if they don't really receive a lot of attention then you know who knows we might switch to something else <laughs> so that's a sign to all of you if you do enjoy the videos you know make sure to like it comment down below all that sort of stuff that way you know they continue otherwise I have to refocus my attention to something else but this holiday season we did get a VR headset which I'm very much looking forward to playing VR games um, especially outdoorsy ones or shooting ones you know that sort of stuff I think people are gonna get a kick out of it and as long as you don't get motion sickness watching the videos it should be a lot of fun but speaking of things that is not so much much fun uh, I, it, it looks like we will be taking more of a step back from fishing planet and I'll, I'll kind of explain why um, you know fishing planet was a great game it's on a it's on console and it's on PC so it's very approachable it's a free game anyone can play and I know that when we started the beginner series I thought to myself like this is a fun game and you know with a little bit of help anyone can play it um, you know they can learn how to fish uh, very cool in that regard um, but you know, coming from the Hunter Call of the Wild with expansive worlds and working with TK and, and Megan and stuff like that of, uh, you know, just having that connection to the developers behind the game. Um, and despite despite multiple attempts to reach out to Fishing Planet LLC um, in, in creating some sort of dialogue, you know, something, you know, oh, they got new content coming out and we can create hype for this, um, you know, and this sort of stuff and kind of create a two lane road of uh, I'm making videos about your game and bringing more people into it to play it versus, you know, you're, you're doing nothing for me, <laughs> that sort of thing. Um, you know, it was disappointing that they really didn't want to do anything um, on that side of it and you know when I'm spending all this time playing their game and building hype for it um, it's it's unfortunate that they don't have any anything in, in return for it so you know it, it might sound a little selfish but it's just it's just about using time wisely and uh, and when other developers are are doing it and um, and kind of creating a bar or something like that of you know this is this is a common thing I mean it's not just the hunter call of the wild there are other games out there the developers are, are very good at communicating with you and keeping you in the loop of things coming out so that you can you know keep a hype with different uh, your communities and stuff like that and, and unfortunately uh, with fishing planet it just 
it just never developed into anything. And even though I can, I can unofficially take credit for them adding uh, smiling into the game and uh, the African Congo River map uh, coming, because I know on multiple live streams and multiple videos I talked about uh, he nil never smiling, and then um, multiple times people would ask me, you know, what what would I want added. Uh, and uh, and and the African River was always my answer. I always wanted an African map for for the entire year. I asked for it, and then they then they finally added it. In. Might be it might be a coincidence, but I mean, thinking about all the places in the world that you could add. It's, it's yeah, it's pretty spot on. But with us reaching kind of max level and then you know just not having that sort of dialogue with the developers, I think our time with Fishing Planet slowly coming to an end. I, I have a few more videos I want to put out, and I and I have uh, you know obviously there's some other things that I want to do. But obviously with one end we got a new beginning. I'm very much looking forward to other games we're going to be playing here in the near future, whether it be fishing or VR, or, you know, whether going out in the outdoors. I know that we have our uh, alligator gar fishing trip planned in August, which I'm very much looking forward to and we'll definitely post videos over that. But besides all the videos and the experiences we we get, I guess uh I think my favorite thing about the BZ Hub has been the community and, and those of you who, you know, commenting on videos is one thing, but those of you who join the Discord and, and you know, you know, socialize with each other and just this community that we've built of people helping each other out in the games and um, people who enjoy video games and people who enjoy the outdoors and how that meshes together. It's just, it's really cool. And, uh, you know, every day I, I wake up and look at the Discord notifications to see what people are talking about. And it's just something I look forward to uh, every day. So, you know, when I look back on the years I've been doing uh, YouTube videos, it's, you know, it's, it's really cool to see uh, the videos. It's really cool to see how we've developed over time. But um, but the community is always one of those things that's like a, a solid rock that's that's just been growing, um, you know, as rocks do. Obviously, they grow. No, but um, yeah, it's it's been really cool, and I've really. Uh, really appreciate everything you all do so you know big thanks to all of you uh, not just for the year of 2021 but for years past as well and very much looking forward to 2022 and years to follow but with all that sappy stuff out of the way it's uh this is gonna be the end of 2021 everyone i hope you had a wonderful holiday season and i hope you have a wonderful new year um but i think this is gonna do it for this video take care everyone we'll see you in 2022 and as always remember everyone we're one planet, one family, game on.